Okay, so in today's video, we want to look at the relation between Stokes' theorem and path independence. Recall that if we have a conservative vector field F, which has continuous partial derivatives on a simply connected open region bounded by some curve C, then we know that the value of this path integral is independent of the specific choice of the path C. So for example, let's say I had a path between two points P and Q. And I've got this curve C1 and this curve C2. Then if the vector field is conservative and these conditions are satisfied, then the value of this line integral is the same regardless of which path I choose. Uh, let's just make a few remarks on the technicalities here. So we have a simply connected region Recall that, at least in the previous video that I uploaded on this topic, I, I interpreted that to mean no holes in the region. So for example, if I had a region like this, then this would be simply connected, because there are no holes. But something like this, where there is a hole, is an example of a region which is not simply connected. So this is really fundamental uh, to this theorem here. And what we want to do in this video is relate path independence to the recent theorem that we've learned which is Stokes theorem. Another way of interpreting simply connectedness uh, which will be useful in Stokes theorem is a region is simply connected if every closed loop inside the region bounds a surface inside it. So you can check that these are equivalent this is of course the more intuitive one, but this may be more insightful when we are discussing Stokes theorem. Maybe one more preliminary remark to be made is that recall that if we're let's let's assume everything we're considering here is simply connected, so all the regions uh, uh, of this form, then conservative is equivalent to the cross product with the vector field the grad and the vector field when cross product together uh, gives you zero so this is something that we call the curl of the vector field so to give some insight into the curl let's note that the curl is the extent to which there is a twisting in the vector field so if there is some twisting in the vector field then we will have a non-trivial curl and the vector field will not be conservative. So what we want to do when we look at Stokes theorem and path independence, well path independence only holds if the vector field does not have any curl but we want to consider vector fields which don't have a curl. So let's recall the statement of Stokes theorem which is that we'll let S be an oriented piecewise smooth surface so just take a smooth surface for example bounded by a simple closed piecewise smooth boundary C so again we can take this picture here for simplicity and we'll assume that it has a positive orientation so we'll assume that we understand what this means for the purposes of this video and then we'll let F be a vector field whose components have continuous partial derivatives on an open region in R3 containing S. So remember S is a surface, so it looks maybe something like this. And this is an example where we could apply Stokes' theorem. Then Stokes' theorem tells us that this line integral here is given by the surface integral of the curl and what we want to do is assuming is assuming this formula uh, show that path independence uh, comes out of this so let's let's see how we would do that so let's say we have like in the picture before we have two points P and Q and I've got two paths between them so we'll call this C2 and we'll call this C1 and we want to show that the integral of F 
hat dot dr hat over c1 is the same as the integral of f hat dot dr hat over c2. This will be this is exactly what we mean by path independence. Of course, this is for all choices of c1 and c2. Now, another way of writing this would instead of having equality, we can just consider uh, the the difference, and we want the difference to be zero. So now, what we'll do is we'll consider the closed path given by going along c1 and then backwards along c2. So we'll consider the path c which is given by c1 minus c2 and then this left hand side here is given by the line integral over c of f hat dot dr hat and now this is a uh, closed region. All the conditions uh, for Stokes theorem are going to be satisfied by the uh, region bounded by this. And so if I apply this formula here, then I see that this is given by the double integral over S for some suitably chosen F of the curl of the vector field. But remember, path independence is only uh, true for conservative vector fields, and conservative vector fields are exactly those whose curl is zero. So we end up with a double integral over S of zero ds hat, and this is exactly zero. So this is, gives us a very short proof of the path independence of conservative vector fields on simply connected regions. That's it for this video. If you like the video, please uh, hit the like button and consider subscribing if you want to see more of this content. I'll have um, notes for this video in the video description as well.